It's Henriette Mowers and Blowers. Look what I just bought last night, huh? Guy goes, hey, how you doing? You want to buy a cheap uh, excavator? I said, yeah, send it over. Nah, I'm just kidding. What would I do with that thing anyway? Uh, my neighbor Steve is uh, <laughs> getting a swimming pool. So they're gonna dig his uh, an in-ground swimming pool today. So uh, I'm gonna do a time lapse and show you how this thing works. Goes the sprinklers. So this is a caterpillar 315D or 3150. So they got a big dump truck over here. <clears throat> Two of them actually. They have to take down that fence. And the amount of weight on here, man, it's gonna need a whole new yard. I was thinking where his septic tank would be. I think it's right around here. So it occurred to me, she's got some pretty good soil there. Dark parts over there, it's not too many, you know, pieces of gravel or rocks or anything. So I asked the guy, Malcolm, who owns the company, I said, hey, what do you do with all the dirt? Well, they dump it on their property all the way in Yapank, which is really far. So I said, hey, can I have some dirt? Because I'm going to take the dirt Put it over on the front of, uh, on top of my lawn because I could use some dirt. You know? I got my old trailer here. I wonder how I'm gonna get it out, but I'm gonna have them dump a couple of buckets into my trailer. I think his truck is stuck.
Now this is very interesting. They're gonna get another dump truck and pull this dump truck out. That's very cool. Yeah, that dump truck's really stuck, man. Look at that. size of this thing man <laughs> that lawn is done ski <clears throat> when they eventually get that truck out of there they're gonna put a couple of buckets of that dirt into my trailer. I'm gonna to have to pull a tractor in to pull the trailer out onto my front yard and slowly, you know, uh, scatter that soil all over my yard because my uh, front lawn is very thin in some places. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I've never added topsoil to it except a few bags here and there. But uh, my trailer has a ball hitch and. Uh, this is the only tractor I have, other than the Blue Bayou, that has a ball mount on it. But uh, this is going to take some doing to get it going again. Should I try to get this going, or should I just remove that ball onto this one and use this to pull the trailer out? That's what I'll probably do that's easier. Let me see if that starts. Can you hook it up? I don't see it. I don't see it. There we go. All right. Oh, it's all the way under there, bro. Where is it? It's under here. <laughs> Come on. I have never seen anything like this before. Spectra Precision Laser. Interesting. Isn't that interesting, Steve? Very interesting, Henry. <laughs> Using my new Fantech Review uh, tire inflator. Works great, but the battery's down. Remove the thing from the Rodimus Prime to put on here, but that's right. There's always an issue, isn't there? You know what? I just got a gift from my friend Dan Charbonneau. Six piece titanium coated step drill set. Ooh, look at this little box. Cool. Let's see here. Try this one. in there. Look at that. It could actually just screw in there and be really solid. Do some more. 
Perfect. This is awesome. Thanks, Dan. His lawn is done ski. For sure. I recently got some stickers from my buddy Roger McDonald. Roger's Mowers, Fix and Flip. Holographic too, huh? Badass. I'm gonna put you on my Mowers and Blowers Wall of Fame. I'll put you right above Slippers and John over at Turning Wrenches, right next to Tarrell. Nicely, prominently displayed on the Wall of Fame. Welcome to the club there, Roger. Thanks for the stickers. So this is obviously more than a one day job. He's gonna have to dig all the way down deep and then eventually fill it with a little bit of concrete. Uh, hopefully he's gonna take a couple of buckets of the good stuff and put it in my uh, trailer here that I could use to just as topsoil to put on my lawn. God knows we need it. Anyway, so I'll give you updates on how Steve's pool goes. In the meantime, I just wanted to show you the heavy equipment used to dig a hole in his backyard. What a pain in the butt it is to try to get the dirt out of here because we had a lot of rain recently. Because of the rain, the ground is so soft and, and sloppy and it's hard for the uh, dump trucks to get in here because it's so heavy. It gets stuck easily. And unfortunately, he's got to go back and forth with the dirt with a truck waiting outside on the asphalt. Anyway, thanks a lot for joining me on today's episode of Steve's in-ground pool uh, dig. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. Hey, if you guys enjoyed the video, Remember to give me a like. Also, comment below. Subscribe. Remember, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. It's free, right? Also, hit that little bell. That way you'll get post notifications whenever there's a new video and you won't miss out on any of them. Remember to follow my Instagram and Facebook, as well as if you'd like to donate a dollar or two, paypal.me slash mowersandblowers. Really appreciate all the support. Also, to keep the videos coming every day, support the channel. Bye.